Praise the Lord. I got to say this announcement real quick because I just learned a new word. So that way I say it right. Okay. Children, you're invited to a Moana. Moana. Huh? Moana. Whatever that is. <laughs> Movie night. Monday night, the 12th at 7.30 at Susie and Ryan's house. Bring your favorite blanket and contact Susie or Ryan with questions. And there's a phone number on here and there'll be a flyer on, on the back. All right. So it's a Moana movie night, Monday night at uh, 7.30, this Monday night, actually tomorrow night. So remember that. Also, i got several announcements, so please bear with me this morning. I just want to thank everyone that came out and helped at work yesterday at the campground. If you came out and worked yesterday, I'd like you to stand. I'd like to give you and the Lord a hand of appreciation. Brother Ronnie, <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Billy, Kathy, and Zoe. So thank you. We hauled away 3,800 pounds of old mattresses yesterday, and that was a nasty job. So thank everyone for their help. The new mattresses will be in this Thursday. So Thursday afternoon, if you're not working and you can carry a twin-size mattress, we could use your help Thursday the 15th. I do not have a time yet. I'll get the, when I get the time, I'll send it out through text message. So right now it's just Thursday. They come from Elkhart. And they're supposed to leave Elkhart at 8, so it may be like 11, 12, I'm not sure exactly if they leave right at the, on time. But just please, if you can put it on your calendar, and if you can come help carry mattresses into a building and put them on a bunk bed, we can appreciate your help. So that's this Thursday. And also tonight, right after evening service, is our bake auction. Looks like we got a pretty good sign-up list out there. If you didn't sign up, don't feel like you can't bring anything. You can still bring something. And all the monies raised will go to pay for our children to go to youth camp, and then it will also go to support our VBS. All right? There will be no men's meeting this Tuesday because we have our men's service this Friday at 730. Now, I'm not putting a sign-up sheet out for the men to sign up. I'm just going to say, show up, all right? Show up Saturday night, 730, and you'll be blessed, all right? This Friday night, yes. I'll be here Thursday, too. Friday night, 730. Thursday's when the matches are coming, all right? I'll be sleeping on one of those matches until Friday rolls around. All right, we have a list on the table out there of items we need for VBS, snack items. If you could bring one of those items, please sign up and put your name down. That way we know who's going to bring what. There's a lot of things out there, but I don't think there's anything too costly. So please sign up, and if you want to buddy up with somebody, you get part of it, and they get part of it. You can do that however you want. Just please bring those items. We will have a VBS work day, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, the 23rd. Do we have a time yet? 9 a.m. this Saturday, we're going to be decorating the back for VBS, so we need all the help we can get, so please remember that, 9 o'clock next Saturday, the 23rd. And VBS will begin the 24th and go through the 30th. It'll be Monday through Friday at 6 to 8 o'clock. And the ages are on the sign-up, on the, on the table out there. And there's some flyers out there. If you'd like to take a flyer and hang it up, we'd appreciate that as well. And then also this Saturday, the 17th, it will be leaving at 9 o'clock. We'll be going on a canoe trip. The cost is $20 per person. $20 per person. So please, if you can come, it'll be at 9 o'clock. It's a two- to four-hour trip, so it'll be most of the day. So please come out. And have, we had a good time last year. I kind of finally figured out how to turn our canoe. Me and Josh went down the river like this. <laughs> and that's not fun when you're trying to get things turned. But I think I figured it out. So come out. We'll have a good time. We, we, we had a great time last year, so we're going to leave the church at 9 o'clock, and we'll take the van. So if you don't want to drive, we're going to meet here at 9 o'clock and take the church van. All right, got a lot of announcements. Everything should be in your bulletin. There's a couple things that may not be, so take your bulletin home, put it on the refrigerator, mark it on your calendar, and make sure you're here when we have things going on. And I promise you'll be blessed, all right? Let's all stand this morning. Now, aside of all that, we come to worship the Lord, right? This is God's time, so forget about all the announcements until tomorrow, and let's concentrate on the Lord, all right? Well, you concentrate tonight and bring your bake items. Anyway. <laughs>
Let's just worship the Lord this morning, and let's start off with prayer today. Father, we do honor you, and we do thank you, God, for all that you've done for us. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity, Lord, just to come into your house and to worship you. Father, we know, God, this service was designed, God, according to you, God. And I pray, God, that everything we do and say, God, will bring glory and honor into you, God. For this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice, and we will be glad, Father. I pray right now for your freedom and your liberty. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And everybody shout amen today. Amen. Let's worship. Amen. Hey, Green's the color of the day. Yes! <laughs> amen, amen. I, probably, I don't think there was a memo going out, but praise the Lord anyhow, amen? amen. Uh, hallelujah. Let's, let's get ready to enter in and worship, amen? Uh, this first song, it says, He set me free. Amen. If He set you free, then you ought not sing this song like you're bound down, but you ought to sing it like He set you free, amen? amen. There's nothing can hold us here anymore. He set us free. Let's Amen. sing this song this morning. Amen. Praise God.
my Jesus to see. Hallelujah. I'm on a mission to get to the other side. Amen. How many knows that how he found you is not how he'll leave you? That's right. Amen. He found us bound, but he set us free. Amen. He found us in that miry clay, but he brought us up out of that miry clay. Amen. Never to return again. Hallelujah. If you stay in the hands of the Savior. This song says he brought me out of that miry clay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And lo, in the pit where my sin dragged me down, I cried to the Lord from the miry clay, who tenderly brought me out to golden day, for He brought me out of the miry clay, and He set my feet on the rock to stay, and He was a song.
today. The needs are great, but God is greater. Hallelujah. Do you believe today God's still a healer? He's still what you need today. And let's pray for that one's hand that you're holding today. Help me pray this morning. Father, we come before you. God is a family. God calling out to you, God, because we know, God, that you're our source. God, you're our strength. God, you're our everything. Father, we need your touch. We need your strength. We need your healing today, Father. I pray for those, God, that are sick today. Father, that you would reach down your hand. Father, you would heal their sickness. Father, I pray for those, God, that are brokenhearted. God, the hearts are heavy today. Father, I pray you heal the very broken heart today. Father, I pray for every need in this building. Father, great and small, God, no matter what your size, we know, God, that you're not full of all of our needs. Father, we pray right now, God, as we come in the family, God, ask 
touch and guide your direction today. Father, touch those that are sick. God, encourage those that are down. God, meet every financial need here today. God, whatever the need is, know God, we know that you have it. Father, we ask it all today in the name of Jesus. Everybody shout amen today.
Father, we love you. Lord, we worship. Lord, we magnify. Lord, we exalt you today. Lord, we lift our hands. God, we lift our voices unto you. God, for being the creator. God, the king of everything. Father, we give you honor. We give you glory. And we honor and we worship you today. Lord, we don't ask for anything. We're just saying thank you for being God. Thank you for choosing us when we were lost and died and headed to hell. Thank you, Lord, for picking us. Hallelujah, to be on your team today. Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you today for your presence, your power, all that's here today. We thank you, God, for choosing to come by Lafayette Pentecostal Church of God on South Knight Street and coming into this place and letting us feel your presence today. Father, we worship you. Lord, we thank you today. Hallelujah. Give him a hand clap, can we? Hallelujah. Be seated if you can be. God is good. No matter what life throws our way, God is good. Amen. No matter how big the devil may seem, God is good. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to ask the ushers come receive the morning offering and tithes. If you have to give today, give as unto the Lord. Don't give to me. Don't give to this church. You give to the Lord. And allow God to bless you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Luke, would you pray over the offering this morning? Special by Brother Jason and maybe Sister Jennifer, and maybe whoever else wants to come up. And go.
You know, church, sometimes we have mountains that we have to climb over, amen? And sometimes we have valleys. Sometimes we go in those desert places. And you know, we know that if we have faith, a grain of a mustard seed, we can say to a mountain, be removed and cast yourself into the sea. And sometimes that happens right away, doesn't it? But sometimes it takes a mountain just to stay there for a little bit to build our trust in the Lord and grow our faith. Amen. Just worship the Lord as we sing. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I faced a mountain that I never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I know it's been a while but Lord please hear my prayer I need you like I never have before sometimes it takes a mountain sometimes a troubled sea Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. Your love is so much stronger than whatever troubles me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes it takes a mountain to trust you and believe. Forgive me, Jesus. Oh, I thought I could control whatever life would throw my way oh but this I will admit it has brought me to my knees I need you Lord and I'm not ashamed to say sometimes it takes a mountain Sometimes a troubled sea Sometimes it takes a desert To get a hold of me Your love is so much stronger Then whatever troubles me Sometimes it takes a mountain To trust you and believe Just listen to this second verse again Forgive me, Jesus thought I could control whatever life would throw my way oh but this I will admit it has brought me to my knees I need you Lord and I'm not ashamed to say I'm not ashamed to say sometimes it takes a mountain sometimes a troubled sea sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me your love is so stronger than whatever troubles me sometimes it 
takes a mountain to trust you and believe. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Has anybody been in those mountains? Sometimes a troubled sea. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. Your love is so much stronger than whatever. To trust you and believe. Thank you. Praise God. Nobody likes them standing at the bottom of the mountain looking up. Nobody likes being in the desert. Nobody likes the troubles and trials of life, but God has a plan and a purpose for everything. I'm glad, like the words of the song says, that God's love is stronger. God's love is stronger. His love is able to keep us through every valley, through every desert, through every storm that life throws our way. Amen. God's love is stronger. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you have your Bibles today, I'd like you to turn to Psalms 37. We're going to read verse number 4. Love the Lord this morning. Thankful for all that He's done for us. Thank you for being there in the dark times, in the sad times, in the lonely times. You mean God's always there. Even when we didn't deserve Him to be there, He was still there. When we shook our fist at Him and questioned Him, He was still there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's lift our hands if we can one more time. I just feel His presence so strongly today. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love you today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 37 and 4. If you found that, say amen. If you don't have your Bibles, it'll be on the screen. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. This morning I want to preach on the thought of delighting in the Lord. Delighting in the Lord. Let's pray. Father, I love you and I thank you. Lord, for this time and this service where I can stand and I can declare the Word of God unto your people. Father, these are not my words, but God, these are your words. And Father, I pray God this morning, God, for that fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost today. Father, I thank you for what we've already felt here today. But Father, as we open your word today, God, let it get down into our hearts. God, let it get down into the wounds and God, heal wounds today. God, heal the troubled heart today. Father, but God, most importantly, I pray, God, that you'd anoint me today. God, as I bring forth your word, that I could bring it forth under the unction of the Holy Ghost, Lord. God, that my words would stop, Lord, and God, your words would come forth. Father, I pray it today in the name of Jesus, and everybody shout amen today. I looked up what the word delight means. It means to give great pleasure, satisfaction, or enjoyment to great pleasure satisfaction or enjoyment to did you know this morning that God delights in you God delights in us did you know that today the creator of the universe delights in you the God that said let there be light thought of you and he delights in you today God finds pleasure 
in you being here today. Whether you came out of obligation, whether you came because it's the Sunday thing to do, amen, God is delighting that you're here today. God delighted in us so much that He has prepared a plan for us to be able to make it to heaven. He had to give up His only Son to come to this earth and be beaten and bruised and be crucified that He could be able to offer us a plan to have fellowship with Him. God loves you and I that much and He delights in us that much. God desired the fellowship of mankind so much that He was willing to give His Son to die that you and I could have fellowship with Him. God loves you today and God delights in us today. He desires your fellowship. He desires to hear you sing the songs. He desires to hear you pray the prayers. He desires to be your heavenly Father. He desires to walk in fellowship with you and I. That makes me happy right there. Not happy, but humble. No one... I shouldn't be here today. Knowing that I should already probably be in hell today. But God loved me so much that He kept on knocking. He kept on pursuing. He kept on coming to the back of the church when I was trying to escape Him. Amen. He kept on after me. He delighted in me. He wanted me to be saved. Amen. And I'm thankful today. Amen. That He loved me that much. And I can stand here today and say, Today, I'm saved. I've been redeemed. I've been born again. Because He loved me. It wasn't because I loved Him. Because I did not love Him. But now I love Him. Now I love Him. Amen. Now I love Him. He did something for me that I could not do for myself. Hallelujah. He saved my soul from the pits of hell. This is not my sermon today, but I just want us to know that God delights in us. I want us to reverse it over today. Do you delight in the Lord? Do you love God that much as much as God loved you? No, we can never love God that much. As what my God, how much God loves us. But how many knows we ought to die trying? Uh, we ought to do our best, amen, and love Him until we spit, take our next breath in eternity, amen. Amen. You know, today the Scripture said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Why? Because God delights in us. God loves us. So we ought to love Him in return, shouldn't we? Amen. When I was putting together this sermon, praying and asking God for what to preach today, I don't know if it's because of the bake auction tonight, but this is the way I felt to go. But I thought about delighting in something. I thought about the Lord delighting in us, but then I thought about as humans in our flesh how we delight in things. But then I also thought about the spirit man, how we ought to delight in the Lord. But as I was praying and seeking God, this is just what I felt in my heart, I began to think about my grandma's blueberry delight. Now, I know that ain't spiritual. But then I began to think about my wife's Oreo delight that she makes. And I thought about the excitement and that longing in my heart when I began to think about Grandma's making blueberry delight. And I thought about how excited I would get and how that feeling would begin to arise within me and my wife would make Oreo delight. You know, it is a delight to be able to sit down and eat those things. I don't know why I thought of these things, but today this is my reference to delighting in the Lord. Nobody has to tell me to get excited about my wife making Oreo delight. Nobody had to tell me to get excited about Grandma's blueberry delight. It was just something that happened inside of me. And I believe that's the same way with God, amen? Nobody's got to tell you to get excited about God. When you begin to delight yourself in the Lord and begin to long for the things of God, amen, something happens on the inside of you. And you can't help yourself. 
Don't rely on Brother Ryan, Brother Nate, or Brother Rick, or myself to get you excited about the Lord. You get excited about the Lord when you begin to delight in the Lord. How will you begin to, amen, begin to find pleasure in the Lord? When you begin to, amen, know that I'm satisfied in the Lord. Amen, there's enjoyment in serving God. There's a delight in God. Better than Oreo delight. Better than blueberry delight. Huh? Whew. The Lord brings excitement to our lives. Amen. Aren't you glad you're saved? Huh? When you delight in something, there's excitement. There's a pleasure. You want to be around that person, don't you? Amen. When my wife's making Oreos delight, how many knows I'm standing in the kitchen watching over her shoulder? And she telling me, get out of the way. She busts up them Oreos. Guess who volunteers to crunch up the Oreos? <laughs> Not with my teeth. <laughs> She'll put them Oreos in a baggie and we'll beat them up, smash them up so she can sprinkle them on top. I'm standing right there crunching up them Oreos thinking, ah, about a half an hour I'm going to be eating me some Oreo delight. <laughs> Amen. That's funny this morning, but you know we ought to be the same way with the Lord. Amen. When the church doors swing open, amen, we ought to be getting ready to come into the presence of God. Amen. I'm getting ready to walk into the presence of the Father. I'm getting ready to walk into the presence of the one that saw fit, amen, to reach down and pull me up out of the muck and the mire of my sins. I'm coming into the presence of my Redeemer, my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. How many knows there's pleasure in serving God? It's not a hard thing. God didn't make it hard. We make it hard. I'll say it till I die. Put it on my headstone. If you live for God hard, it's easy. But if you live for God easy, it becomes hard. If you live for God hard, you'll do the things that God requires. And you'll live for God hard. It's easy to serve Him. It's easy to be a Christian. And that's my next topic. It's easy to serve the Lord when you delight in Him. When she makes oil of delight, I volunteer to do the dishes. I volunteer to be a servant. Because I know what the benefits are when I get down and washing the dishes. I get a big old plate of Oreo delight. Huh? That ought to be the same way with God. When you really delight in the Lord, how many knows it's an honor to serve Him? It's a privilege to serve God. Amen. It's an honor. The benefits, amen, they're beyond comprehension today. Amen. The things of God we can't even fathom in our minds today. God has blessings for your life if you just learn to delight in Him and become a servant. He just wants you to serve Him. He just wants fellowship. Amen. He wants us to present our bodies, that living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. God's not asking us to do anything unreasonable. He just wants us to delight in Him. If we can do it a fourth as much as what He does in us, I mean, knows we have it easy. Amen? But the word delight means to give great pleasure. And when I sit down and eat that bowl of Oreo delight, can I tell you, there's some good pleasure. I mean, I don't know about you, but I found some good pleasure here this morning. Amen. Feeling the presence of the Lord. Amen. When you come into God's presence, how many knows there's pleasure? Amen. Beyond measure. Hey, we ought to put that on the sign. Pleasure beyond measure. I'm greater than Oreo delight, greater than blueberry delight, greater than all the money you can make in this world, greater than having your names flash in lights. Amen. God gives you something better and greater. Amen. When we learn to delight in the Lord, it's a good place. There's pleasure in serving God. Yeah, we still got trials. Yeah, we still got tests. Yeah, we still have heartaches. Yeah, we still have pains. Yes, we still have aches and pains, don't we? Everybody ought to say amen to that. But when you delight in the Lord, how many knows the aches and pains, amen, don't compare, amen, to the goodness of the Lord. 
Oh, yes, we may have aches and pains, but we're blessed. Amen. We're experiencing the good things of the Lord when we can come into His presence. Don't take for granted what you've got here. I've been in churches where the presence of God ain't been. It's not a fun place to sit in. Amen. We ought to be thankful when we come into God's house. Amen. God comes down in this house. We ought to be thankful that when we sing the songs, we can feel the presence of the Lord amongst us. Amen. It's a good feeling. Just like eating Oreo Delight. No better than eating Oreo Delight. How many knows you can't fake it and make it? She tried to put sugar free in one time, I think it was, or something. Or something happened. It just didn't taste the same. <laughs> she was trying to fake me out. Whew. How many knows we ain't going to fake out God? I believe God's looking for people that delight in Him. When we stand at the gates of heaven, amen, He's going to let those in that have delighted in Him. Those that were happy they're saved. Those that, amen, are thankful for the salvation they have. Amen, not the people that come in and put on the church face and say, look at me, I'm a church member, and then they go out and live like the rest of the world on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. How many knows you can't fake it make it? We've got to learn to delight in the Lord on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. Amen. God's the same yesterday, today, and forever, just like He is on Sunday. Amen. Oh, but then things change. We sing that song, and we go into the valley. Where's your delight at in the valley? How many of those Oreo light, delights the same on the mountain, just like it is in the valley? Oreo delight is the same whether I had a good day or bad day or not. Huh? As I sit down and ate Oreo delight, whether I had a bad day at work or if I had people coming against me all day long, it's still the same, right? It's Oreo delight. That's the way God is. Huh? He's good all the time. He's good whether you're on the mountain or whether you're in the valley. He's good whether you have heartaches or you don't have heartaches. He's good whether you're being audited by the IRS or you ain't. Amen. If you were here Wednesday, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. I mean, those life still happens. But when you delight in the Lord, whether life happens or not, amen, we still know that He's God. He's still got something good in store. I can't see it right now, and I don't understand it right now, but we've got to trust and know he, He's still God. And when you delight in Him, He's good all the time. Just like Oreo delight. Amen. All right, where are we going, Lord? When you delight in the Lord, it's easy to share Him. If we had a cook or dinner after church today, and if I told you my wife was making Oreo Delight, I could put down the Oreo Delight in front of you and have confidence that you will enjoy it. I know that it'd be good because she made it. And I've tasted it for myself, and I know that what she makes is good. And it's easy for me to share it and not have to be wondering, well, I wonder if they'll like it or not. I wonder if she did it right this time. No, I can put the Oreo delight down in front of you and share it with you with confidence, knowing that I've tasted it and I know that it's good. How many knows this morning that's the way it ought to be with God? I've tasted of the Lord and I know that He's good. And it's easy for me to share Him because I know that He is good. He tastes good in the morning. He tastes good in the afternoon. He tastes good in the midst of storms, just like He does on the mountain. Amen. When you delight in the Lord, it's easy to share Him. Because you know you've got the real deal. He's not a counterfeit God. Brother Rick was talking this morning about all the different gods. I mean, knows He's the God. He's the real deal. He's genuine. Hey, man, if you've tasted Him, it's easy to share Him. How many knows we can share Him with confidence and know He has what they need? Hey, Amen. we all have a void in our lives that He can only fill. And we can share Him with confidence knowing...
But if you haven't tasted, if you haven't experienced the Lord, and you're not sure today, can I tell you today, there's a place in God where you can delight in the Lord, and you can know that you know that the God that you serve is good, and He's something that we need to share with other people. I can hoard my Oreo delight till I can't eat no more Oreo delight. But how many knows eventually it's going to spoil? Thank God He don't spoil. But sometimes we like to hoard Him up for ourselves and talk about oh, how good God is. How many knows there's people out there that need to hear how good God is? Huh? There's people out there that need to know how good God is. And when you really delight in the Lord, how many knows you can share Him with other people with confidence knowing that they, amen, can experience the same thing that you just experienced? When I sit down and eat a bowl of Oreo Light, I can know the person that's next to me saying, man, that's a good thing. That's the same way it is with God. Amen. It's just as good for you, just as it is good for you. Just as good as He is for me, He's just as good for you. Amen. Anyway, all right, we're moving on. The next word in describing what delight means. It means to give great pleasure, satisfaction. How many knows the Lord brings satisfaction? When I sit down and eat me a bowl of Oreo delight, I'm satisfied. When I get Grandma's blueberry delight, I don't get it no more. She's in heaven. But when I was sit down and eat Grandma's blueberry delight, I'd be satisfied. Brother Rick, you've had that, ain't you? That's good stuff. <laughs> My grandma could make some mean blueberry delights. But I would leave her home, or leave. She would send home, send home a pan of it, and I would sit down at the table, and I'd be satisfied. How many knows this morning God brings satisfaction to your life? If you're not satisfied today, I tell you, you need to delight in the Lord. If you're not happy with your walk with God, begin to delight in the Lord. He brings satisfaction. I don't long to hurt His feelings anymore. I don't long to do sinful things anymore. I found satisfaction in serving God. Amen. I found satisfaction knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I've delighted in Him and I've tasted and found out He is exactly what I need. And the Lord will satisfy your soul. Amen. The Lord brings satisfaction. He brings satisfaction money can't bring. He brings satisfaction that a companion can't bring. He brings satisfaction the world can't bring. He brings satisfaction that nobody else can bring except Him. Huh? Nobody can compliment Grandma's blueberry delight. Amen. Grandma made blueberry delight like nobody else. How I many knows there is no replica of God? Huh? It's God or nobody else. Amen. When you delight in the Lord and you have an encounter with God, He brings satisfaction to our hearts and our lives. But then the Bible says He'll give us the desires of our hearts. The desires of our hearts. A blessing for us being blessed. How many knows it's a blessing when you delight in the Lord? I feel blessed today. I'm happy with life. Because I know that I'm saved. Yes, life's hard sometimes. And yes, I don't want to get up some mornings. Amen. But I'm thankful today whether I get up or I don't get up. I know where I am with the Lord. Amen. Amen. But anyway, the Lord said He'll give us the desires of our heart. And I'm thankful today the desires of my heart are not things that are so much all about me. I'm thankful He gives me those spiritual desires that I have that brings a, a, a completeness to my heart. That the things of the world and the things of this flesh will not bring completeness. Like when you allow the Lord to give you that desire of your heart that's spiritual. Amen. I'm glad today that He gives us the desires of the heart. I believe He gives us things in the flesh and in the natural that bring a, a, a completeness to our hearts. Like if we need something and He closes. If we need food and He gives us food. He gives us the desire of our heart. Amen. But I believe God's looking deeper than that. He wants to give you the desires of your spiritual heart. Amen. The heart and the longing. Amen. We should want to long to be closer to Him. We should want to long to be in His presence. We should want to long to read His Word more. We should want to long to do things, amen, in the spiritual realm, amen, where God can give us the desires of our spiritual hearts. Amen. It shouldn't just be our flesh. Give me, give me, give me, Lord. Help me get more money. Let me get this and that. But Lord, let me grow spiritually. Let me desire to walk closer to You, Lord. Let me desire to know Your Word more. Lord, let me desire to share You more. 
Hopefully that's some of the desires that you have in your heart. Because I believe when you desire and you delight in the Lord, I mean, when you really delight in Him, the desires of your heart, and they line up with His Word. If you're longing things that don't line up with the Word of God, you need to start delighting in the Lord and start walking closer to Him. Amen. God wants us to delight in Him. He wants us to find pleasure in Him. He wants us to be satisfied in the things of God. I'm not saying being satisfied where you quit reading your Bible, you quit praying, and you say, well, I've arrived, I've found my spiritual plateau. No. I'm talking about being satisfied where I don't want to go out and do sinful things. I don't want to go out and hurt the Lord. I don't want to miss church and stay home and watch my favorite TV program. I don't want to do the things that I know bring hurt to the Lord. God wants us to delight in Him today, church. He wants us to find pleasure and satisfaction. It's a joy to serve God. If you don't find joy in serving God, there is a place that you can get to in God where it's joyous serving God. Amen. Can you then, when the storms come, you can still lift your hands and give God praise. As I looked out over the crowd today and I knew that some of you were in the midst of storms and to see you lift your hands and sing the song, amen, that touched my heart today. Because I believe when you really delight in the Lord, it doesn't matter the storm. It doesn't matter the circumstance. It doesn't matter the situation. Because I'm going to worship God anyway. Because I delight in Him. Amen. The word delight means to give great pleasure, satisfaction, and enjoyment. I enjoy serving Jesus. I enjoy serving Jesus. How many knows you can't outgive the Lord? You can't ever get to a place where you're, you're there. He's always got something new for you every day. His Word is fresh and new every morning. Amen. The things of God are new every day. Amen. God is an enjoying God. He loves to hear us pray. And He loves to come down in the midst of our prayers. How many knows when we come together, He loves to inhabit our praises? Amen. Delight in the Lord today. Delight in the Lord. How many knows I can't make you do it? Mom and Dad, we can't make our children do it. We all as adults got to come to a place where we say, I want to delight myself in the Lord. Not because Brother Chris said so, because it's the good thing to do. Amen. As we stand to our feet. Thankful today that God saw fit to have a plan and purpose for my life. Just as God has a plan and a purpose for my life, He has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of you today, standing here today. God desires for you to walk with Him. God desires for you to read His Word and to pray and come into His presence with excitement. God desires for us to enjoy serving Him. We shouldn't serve Him out of obligation. We should serve Him because we delight in Him and we enjoy serving Him. God delights in you today. God's happy that you're here today. God loves you today. He even numbered the very hairs on your head. That's how much God delights in you. Can you imagine God knowing my hair, Sister Jenny's hair, Logan's hair. Some of you ain't got hair. He knows your hair. So many millions and billions of people on this planet. And if God would look down, He'd say, Jordan has 350 million pieces of hair on his head. That's mine. That's my child. I love my boys. I love my daughter. I can't tell you how many hairs they got on their head. But God loves us so much that He would number the very hairs on our head. He sees every tear that we cry. He hears every pain that we go through. And He loves you today. He wants you to delight in Him today. As we bow our heads and we close our eyes today, maybe you're here this morning without the Lord in your life. Maybe you've never tasted of the Lord and found Him to be good. If you're here today without the Lord being King of your life, the Lord of your heart today, these altars are open for you. Would you come and say, Lord, I need you. I need to be saved. I'm tired of living life my way. 
I want to live life your way. If you're here this morning without God, these altars are open for you. Or maybe you're here this morning, you're a child of God. Maybe you've been serving God for years. Maybe you want to delight more in the Lord this morning. Maybe you want to get out of your seat, come to the altar, and just taste of the Lord and see how good He is. If I would set plates all across these altars of Oreo Delight and Blueberry Delight and said, come and taste, and you don't get out of your seat, and you never taste of the Oreo Delight and Blueberry Delight, you would leave here a foolish person. But today the Lord has spread the table. There's Oreo Delight and Blueberry Delight. There's some good things waiting for you at this altar. If you don't want to get out of your seat, but I want us all to make an altar today. And let's just delight in Him for a minute, can we? Just say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you for saving my soul. Can we all find us a place of prayer? And let's just delight in Him for a few minutes, if we could. Don't worry about what time it is. Don't worry about who's beside you. Let's taste of the Lord this morning and see how good He really is today. Hallelujah. Let Him have His way. Don't you put it off, my friend. You can't afford to wait. Today the day for you, soon it will be too late, come unto Jesus, give Him your life today, come unto Jesus, let Him have His way. Say you have things in your life that he cannot forgive, but he'll forgive and forgive, my friend, and show you how to live. Come unto Jesus. We serve, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. He will bring you out all right. He will bring you out all right. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. He will bring you out all right. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a 
mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. And He will bring you out all right. Yes, He will bring you out all right. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. He will bring you out all right. Sing it, church. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. He's not asleep, and He's alive forevermore. And He's still the Almighty God. Amen. He's the only God today. Amen. Good to be in the presence of the Lord today. Don't leave it here. Take it home with you. How many knows God don't dwell here? He dwells here. Amen. Delight in the Lord tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day of the week. Get up in the morning and say, thank you, God, for another day. Amen. While you work, delight in Him. While you go to Walmart, delight in Him. Amen. When you go out to eat today, delight in Him. Don't forget who gave you the money to be able to sit down and eat the food. Amen. I'm not going to preach again, so don't get nervous. All right. Remember all the announcements. If you can go on the canoe trip, sign up, please. We need to know by Wednesday how many's going. Yes? Sack lunch and a drink, all right? It might get soggy, so make sure you put in some of it. Because if you're like me, you might fall out of your boat. <laughs> Pack it tight. <laughs> so remember that, and also sign up if you can bring stuff for VBS. There's snacks that need it on that table out there. And if you want to take a flyer and hang it up, take it. If you want to take a flyer and give it to a friend, invite their children to come. We want to invite those around us. We're going to have a sign out front here coming in the next couple of days to invite the community around us. Amen. How many knows it's nothing just about us? Amen. Amen. we got souls that need still to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's all stand. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads and be dismissed today. Father, we love you. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. God, we thank you for your presence that we felt here today. Father, I pray your hand of protection upon us as we leave this place. Father, I pray your hand will be upon us, but God, as we go out into this world, Father, let our lights shine and let others see the goodness of the Lord shining through our lives. Father, let others come to us and say, what do you have? I want to taste it and see. Father, I pray right now in the name of